recording today is January 29th, 2024, and I am headed to Suburban Hospital in about 30 minutes to so have the titanium host uh, abutment implanted in my head for my bone activated hearing apparatus or my body. Okay, sitting in pre-op, they have marked the ear We've met with anesthesiology and, or the anesthesiologist and the doctor, and we're just waiting for the room. Okay, so it's about um, four hours later since the last uh, video, and it's not four hours because this took four hours. It's four hours because I was just waiting for the anesthesia and everything to wear off. Um, surgery was completely painless, which general anesthetic is. Uh, I woke up and I have this plastic cover on the side of my head for 48 hours as we're letting the this is giving space for the healing cap to just sort of settle with the tissue and then I go see the doctor next week to have the healing cap looked at but the doctor was great he explained the surgery to me up front everyone said there's no pain, real pain involved right now the skin on my head is still numb so I'll, I'll wait till we see what that looks like but uh, so far, I've actually took a peek and I'll pop a picture in right here. That's what it looks like. And it's really not a big thing. Okay, so now it is uh, four o'clock. It is about four hours after the surgery. I have, uh, you know what, I did a video two hours ago and I don't even remember doing it. So uh, basically the pain has just started and I have a very high threshold for pain so this isn't really pain I can feel a little warming around the uh, the incision so that's it so far uh, haven't taken uh, any Advil or any oxy or just on still just on whatever they gave me during the surgery okay hey again it's me it's a six o'clock update I've been texting, emailing, work, doing a little bit of work for my phone. Uh, I took the bandage off just for a few minutes to kind of let the, uh, the it's making my forehead sweaty, that type of stuff. The pain is a little bit more than it was at four o'clock, but not, not enough that it would keep me up. If I was tired, I could probably lay down. And now that I'm thinking about it, the more I talk and my jaw moves, that makes the skin move. And then I get a little bit more irritation pain from around the, the surgery area. But um, other, oh, that doing that hurt, just raising my eyebrows really fast. So I'll take it easy and update you later. Okay, so update 17 minutes after that last update. My head was itching over here. So I gave it a rub which then felt like it pulled over here and I started to get blood down here. Okay, time check is uh, 1140. Anyhow, I came upstairs to go to bed and I was going to put the petroleum jelly on the ear so it doesn't stick to it. Now, because I have EB, wounds stick to uh, cotton or anything that's not lubricated really bad um so shit i'll put pictures and you see here right there uh there where it's put in the back so i'm going to replace the cotton hold on replace the cotton that was in the cup after, not cotton, gauze, gel gauze, out of the cup with my own gauze. It's a little cleaner. Uh, it won't stick as much. You can see how this is, I know this is really gross, but how it's sticking. So that's kind of good. Uh, anyhow, um, pain, still not horrible. Just a sort of a, not even a throb, just a dull hum of pain. Okay. 
Hey guys, so it is the day after surgery. It is uh, at night, 10.30, and <clears throat> the day went pretty well. Uh, sleeping last night with the, the bucket on my head um, was a little weird, and it just, it was hard to get comfortable. Um, woke up, no pain at the surgery site. Uh, everything looks good. Uh, I was able to clean up the skin and you know, get the, some of the blood off and that type of things. And um, I'm, you know, I can take stop using this thing tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna use it to sleep in because I just don't want anything pushing on it. Um, but being able to have this off and just sort of get you know, used to what it's feeling like is is pretty cool. And here, I'll just let's see if I can give you a little peekaboo there. So, uh, we'll keep you posted tomorrow. And okay, so I just got my think, uh, five. Is that what's called? Let me check. Ponto 5 uh, hearing device, right there, okay. and I haven't heard out of my right ear in almost a year. And I'm standing outside listening to how loud the world is. We got birds going on and people walking by. I was able to know which direction the elevator opened up. Rather impressive, but uh, let's see how the rest of this day goes as we try the new uh, Ponto 5.